Hey, love bugs, it's rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for while and you have not already please drop a line i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and hoping that you are able to resonate with the the video and if you are you got good vibes or insights from it please go ahead and share you never know it can hit them the same way or even take them further than that or you know whatever <laughs> you know but anyways the video i'm about to do right now is called twin flame 101 hey oka is flowing through the frequency of higher self while ego side seat driving excuse me have a couple of seats you know it's like i said in the last couple of videos universe is wanting me to you know spotlight um different things we're, we're going through so many different situations is where we're we're dissolving the old us you know we're breaking away from toxic habits uh routines you know beliefs limited beliefs um allowing us to dissolve the fear and you know being all we can be you know allowing ourselves to know these things are taking place you know um to strengthen us and always you know being able to have the confidence in ourselves so you know a lot of times we feel like you know it's us against the world you know it's just like it feels like the world's against me and we have to understand it's not even the world when it's coming it feel like it's coming to attack us it's all it is a test are you going to allow yourself to you know allow yourself to take things personal based off of other other people's beliefs and behaviors of what they're projecting towards you um or are you going to allow yourself to say you know this i'm not taking this personal whatever you're doing it doesn't have to reflect on me you know and if it's supposed to come in contact with you it's going to allow you to learn the lesson from that connection uh with other people and other individuals so it's just like you you know you you're having issues it's like you know for us to be able to understand before that spiritual awakening come on we were at a certain frequency a certain vibe you know certain views you know beliefs understandings you know uh uh certain you know certain heights that you know not all, all people because some people love challenges and stuff like they push their own envelope and which is very good but it's just like since this uh quarantine is taking place and lockdown and pandemic all this stuff came, came down this is where universe said now it's time for us to get busy there's different things that you've been avoiding you use off as your job uh self-medicating you know placing yourself in addictions and you know being trapped in certain vibrations that you know you can know you can move away from but it's all about that thought process all about the commitment for you to change and it, it's just like when you know when you know you can take this value yourself like man look i'm really wanting this that and the third in my life for me to get there i know i have to get this understanding where i have to forgive i have to allow myself to break loose of old vibrations circles beliefs views whatever and you, when you get onto that solid vibration of saying, I'm not going to allow anything that is just out of my control to hinder me in any kind of way, that's when the devil cut loose on you. And that's when God start testing you too at the same time. Like I say, God and devil go hand in hand, but they just got two, two different kind of intentions that they have that's taking place into your life. God knows your potential. Devil knows your potential. God is going to do everything he shows you is like through everything with through him. You're going to be able to take it further than you can ever imagine. Believe in the the impossible becomes possible with him. The devil gonna sit up here and try to make you doubt every existence known to mankind, including God. He wanna make you feel like God's lying to you, he playing games, he got you doing all these different things and he ain't about to you know, he ain't about to give you nothing or look how he's giving everybody else these different things and you always been the one that's congratulating you con congratulating everybody but you're never that one that gets the blessings. So it, it's just like that's where the ego steps in. You know, it'll keep reminding you of what you went through it keeps reminding you of what people done what people said what you don't have what you should have you know what people have blocked in your life you know that that's fear kicking in because a lot of times we can go through stuff and it makes us feel like so many incidents we don't had in our lives where it's going like back to back to back to back to back it feels like an avalanche of bs is coming into your life where you can't breathe you know and it's just like one more thing pops off i don't know how much more i can deal with it and it's just like you know that'll be like the devil just cracking up laughing like oh man i almost got him it's almost there let me go ahead and send this other person here he's like well you know these weaknesses and stuff like that let it hit him hard you know it could be something like you you break in you know you proud of yourself because you don't went like 
what two or three days sober and you know and a lot of times that may not seem a big deal for somebody but it's like especially if you're an empath you know you deal with a lot of different things you know i tell people if you're an empath and you don't have no kind of addictions and a lot of times people assume the addictions got to be you know drugs and a lot of times you don't understand you know addictions could be you know uh uh self-harm you know uh eating disorders you know uh different things like that um, adrenaline junkies. There are some people that you know, or, or they're they're sexaholic, you know, anonymous, whatever you want to call it. When they, when they, you know, they do everything through relations, you know, on top of having sex and drugs and you know, alcohol and stuff like that. We feed through those, you know, those are coping mechanisms instead of us facing our fears, you know, because when you start facing your fears, that that's when you start knowing you're invincible. You're almost damn near invincible, you know. But through God, you can be that, but it allows you to not be fearless. You know, sometimes, you you know, it gets to that point. Certain individuals feed off of that. Like, the fact is I'm pushing my own envelope to where I'm allowing myself to be at fear at this time. But I'm enjoying the fact of, of how it's unfolding. You know, because it's just like so many different things I've been through. And there'll be some days I'm full of joy. <laughs> you know, and there'll be some days I'm full of dread. But then it's just like when I get, you know, it's okay because you're going through these things. And it's not every day is going to be a positive day for you. There are going to be up days where you're all the way up here. You're on top of the world. You're seeing everything as a blessing and er all these different things that are taking place. But then you're going to have those moments where it feels full of dread. You feel like this mess is not going to ever end. It just feels like the enemy is always on top of things. They're always like two steps ahead and all that. And then it's just like, but you're allowing yourself to go through these emotions and that's good that's healthy you know a lot of times like how is that healthy because you're allowing yourself to feel you know a lot of times we 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 want to uh coat sugarcoat things you know it's like oh i'm not bothering you know i'm not bothered by these things and, you know and sometimes it's good for you to say that because sometimes you know it like the enemy wants you to be suffering you know and all that but then it gets to that point where you're allowing yourself like, look, I'm going to just allow myself to go through it. People want to chomp on me, want to crack a joke, whatever, laughing. At least I can say I'm allowing myself to go through this. You know, other people are projecting. Other people want to, you know, be in denial. That's fine. You know, but me, I'm going to allow myself to go through those things. And that takes a lot of strength for you to do because you're allowing yourself no matter what is going on in the outside world or what opinions are taking place. You know, you're fighting your ego. That's the only thing you're fighting because they always tell us, you know, even though you got people out here, you probably got, you know, um, generational curses that everybody is trying to cut right now on top of karmatic, karmic cycles. That's a whole new dread within itself of drama, you know, and you're trying to clear all that, you know, triggers and stuff like that, especially if you're dealing with narcissistic people and all these different things, you know. But you're allowing yourself to really go through that. Because a lot of times, it's like with me, I used to be like that too. I used to feel through everything had to be, you know, it can be settled through relations. You know, me sitting up here drinking at times. I was addicted to opiates and went from, a, you know, I went from one addiction to another one. And now I had to deal with everything called turkey. That's not easy to do. You know, when you're dealing with so much stuff, that is not easy to do. But when you're allowing yourself to know, I don't, I don't know what's around this corner, but I deserve to be able to allow myself to go through this because I'm tired of hurting. I'm tired of allowing myself for certain things in my past that is just really keeping me from being a better person. You know, because a lot of times we really feel like we're against the world. But it's just there's so many people that got all these daggone problems out here in the world. There got some people that just want to ignore and project on to certain people. And there's a lot of people that are going day by day and allowing themselves to be, you know what, this is my mission for me to heal from whatever is no longer serving me. Certain things that I've been holding on for way too long. I've been allowing certain things to keep me at a, a, a low, low docile state of mind. Because I can't allow myself to let go of certain things that, you know, is dead and done. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it's just like you see. Even if you have family members. It's like with my, my situation. i seen how it happened with my adopted father that he still holds a grudge against his dad. And it was just like that point when I finally got that forgiveness and it came deep down inside. You don't want to become that because it's just like, you know, his dad has been passed for years, like longer than I've been living. I'm about to be 45, you know, and it still takes effect to him like that. And it's just like this is casted out his world on how he's doing things to where not just the fact is you, you hated your dad. You emulated that, but you went over that of how he was. And it told me I cannot be like that. I, I refuse to because it's like I deserve a piece of, of mine. 
You know, I had to allow myself to know no matter how much hurt and pain that I went through, I'm not going to become that. That is one thing I refuse to do. I'm not going to allow my life to dictate on based on what other people have done to me. I deserve happiness. I deserve peace. I deserve love. I deserve a life with peace and contentment. You know, and you can't get that when you're allowing yourself to be projecting through ego. You can't get that when you're allowing yourself to go through projections of fear, you know, of mishaps, abuse, punishment, any kind of way it is something that's holding you back from being that best version of yourself. And that's that part of yourself where it is going, when you know you have a death of the ego, that mess going hyperdrive like, hold up, we've been together for so many years. It's like you having a whole, it's like you having a funeral. For your ego. I'm like if you don't have a couple of seats. I don't need you. I know what happened. I was there. Hello. And you know there will be an ego wants to keep on reminding you of what certain people did. Or you can just. Universal even have you tested. That's how far it goes. You can say you know. Oh this person did this to me. And it hit me to the core and hurt me. Let me tell you how much I changed. Just, you having a self talk. Or you even have somebody that you really confide in that you know that is your ace. You're like, hey, you know, if I see such and such and such, I wouldn't even still hold that grief. You know, that whatever they put me through, if I can see them today, I'm not going. I'm not even going to allow myself to have that same tune from the last time I seen that person. I'm going to allow that to set free, you know. And the next thing you know, God be rearranging things so you just having to bump into that person and pass. And you can see him at, you know, you can be in Walmart somewhere. Or you can be at a traffic light and you just so happen to be there by him. And you just wave, you know. And it's just like, it was crazy because when I was thinking about doing this video, it meant remind me of the different things that my mom's ex-husband had told me growing up. You know, and I, it was crazy. So like the main person I done got into it with. I don't use the different things on growth that you told me to do. And it was pertaining to you. You know, and it's just like they always told you. You know, or well, they always told me. You know, if you can meet somebody that you know that tore your whole world up. Like they really did some dogged stuff to you. And when you see them. And you start rolling off like you ready to fight. You ready to do this. You giving that person. You, you, you keying up that person's ego saying. Dad. I still got to hold it. I, that, that, I still have an effect on that person's life. And they still remember what I did. You know. And if somebody with some low self-esteem. They going to really get off on that. You know. But if you see that person. And they know you know what they did. And they know you know the truth about what they did. You think it was quiet as it's kept. You know. Because it's like with my growth product. You know. It'll be certain things where God will come up and. You know. Tell me. Oh. You want to know the full story about what happened with this person. Da 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 da. Uh, oh hell no but no hey but it's still on a good thing for you this is why i had you part ways for certain things and so when you see that person and they know you know what, what kind of damage you don't did into their life all because it's probably you couldn't be manipulated no more or they, they were using you for a certain advantage to be covering up for something else they were doing and trying to be all hush hush about it and they destroyed your whole life you know there's be people you don't trust it with your you know your 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 most deepest darkest secrets and they just threw it out there just because it wasn't nothing to them and they know they did some damage and you just cool as a cop cucumber they're gonna be more scared of you because the fact is they know what they did was worth the ass whooping it was coming around three or four times and they come back again after a reset you know and they knew they did that and you come calm they come more scared of you because they never know what's coming next you know all these different things while i was going through all my stuff when reality really hit me and truth really hit me. And I started remembering the different things that I was taught. You know, and it be, you become that, you don't realize how strong and dangerous you are at the same time when you can control your whole emotions around all type of daggone drama. When you do that, you know, hey, you know, come over here, have a drink. Oh, I have some food you want. Something like, hell no. <laughs> I don't know what you put in that. And it'll be like one of those different things. But this is how you won't have to have that kind of talk with your, your, you know, your ego. It's like, you know what? You don't feel so much into me. You know? And you, you see how, like, detrimental your life has gotten just because you move forward within your ego. You know, you move forward in your pride. You move forward in your projection of fear. 
you know, your doubts and stuff like that. You could have been that person because it's just like with me, I, I have no problem with telling people. I used to be sloppy, volatile. Like, I would be that one, if I wanted your man, I'll tell you I wanted your man. I had a dude mentality. And that's how I used to be. You know, and didn't care. My friends used to laugh at me like, you just told them that. Yeah, you want me to tell them again? You see where they at? You know, they used to be laughing at me. I didn't really know that was, you know, characteristic of Hayoka. When you just shock people just by the things you say. You know, and it's not something to brag about or boast about. But I have no problem with telling somebody how I used to be because it made me a better person. You know, this is how you heal. This is how, when you are on a journey like mine, you know, it's not something I'm proud about, about how I have messed up people happy home or did certain things when my friends stopped talking to me because I was, you know, being out there, you know, but now it's at that time I had to reap what I sowed, you know, clearing karma in all kind of ways because it's like when I say I really went through stuff, God was like, oh, you remember when you were messing around with your friend, da 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 and you are messing around with somebody's man, da, 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 you know, and it'll be a certain thing. Or you remember when you broke in, da, 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 da. you know, it'll be different things like that where he really made me pay for my, I got dues back for the problems and, and, and hurt and pain that I invested on so many people, you know. And I had to get out of that point, all that victim blaming, because even though I did go through some mess, I'm like, God, dog, the stuff you got to be going, they weren't topping that. It may not have topped that with you. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. You had to go through that. And I, I ain't going to lie. There would be different things that I wish I could change. But it's just a fact is I wouldn't change them because I gained so much wisdom from it. You know, because there's a lot of times it's like, man, if I wish I didn't meet this person. You know, because I don't been like that. I didn't even tell my baby that. I wish I could have. Man, if I could run at exact time, I would have yeet myself on the opposite way. But then I see how much love I gained from myself because I got dogged. I, I see how much self-respect I have when I felt like nobody wasn't respecting me. You just basically spit in my face and I had to be able to wear it like a token. You know, and it got to that point where I had to come to myself and be real with myself. I'm glad I went through those things because it's like ain't nobody ever, when I get out my situation, ain't never, I ain't going to never let nobody else treat me like that. I ain't ever going to do that. I said, I already know what I'm going to entertain. I already know what I'm not going to condone. I already know what I'm not going to, you know, even be around. What things I'm not going to tolerate, you know, and what I'm not just going to stay in connection with. If I feel somebody vibe being shifty like that, I'm gone. And before you even know I'm gone, it's going to be, you're going to feel that energy is going to be a void right there. And that's why I appreciate all the things that has been done to me. I appreciate all the things I've done to other people. There is so much forgiveness I had to place out there because I know I did a lot of wrong to people. You know, because it was like when I was drinking or if I was heavy on pain meds or antidepressants, I became numb. I became like my own worst enemy. I did not care about what I did and who I did it to. And we bragging about it. You know, people are like, hey, bro, you, you get... You know, and that's not something I need to do. But it was at that point, I had to come real with myself. I don't care about what other opinions people have of me. I know there's going to be people out there that's going to have many definitions of experiences with me. And I have to be able to take that because I knew what I did. I had to own up to what I did. And there was a lot of people that I connect with will just swear up and down. They ain't never did nothing to you. But it's just the fact is they know. I know. We know, you know, but it was at that point, I can't force you to tell the truth. I can't force you to keep it real with yourself because you're still living a lie. Me, I'm moving in my truth, but I'm only my part. You know, I did a lot of things that I did not, I'm not proud of. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I always tell people, it depends on how you approach somebody, what that situation is. Whatever, you get a, you get a different side of people all the time. You're not going, everybody is not going to have the same view on that person. I can't be set up here timid and worry about, oh, you know, I wonder what somebody going to say about me. I don't care. <laughs> you know, I had to be at that point where I really don't care. I know I wasn't a perfect person. Nobody is. You know, we don't all did some kind of wrong to other people. Yeah, we have. You know, I haven't had a chance to tell the people that I've really done things to. I have with some, you know, but I had to keep it real. Like, you know, I, I apologize for all the pain I caused you. It's like there's so many times I go through the stuff I went through. With my kids that I put my mom through. Even though my mom passed away. Be sometimes I have tears in my eyes choking up. And tell my mom how sorry I am. Even though before she passed away. You know me and her. We, we, I mean we came, we came so close together. Only because the fact is. She knew it was time for her to let go of all that pain. And she knew. 
life life is short and she knew she was dying and she didn't want to use those last moments because she already knows she had like four or five tumors so she knew it could be any time so she wanted to savor every moment and make sure it was in a loving place in a positive place not you know having her go through nothing like that and just being able to know when she on her way out it was something meaningful to her it wasn't about you know being angry and stuff like that because my mom was already down that road because of what her ex-husband put her through on top of what I put her through and then my siblings and stuff like that you know so it is it, like this is that moment where I had to go through something so much. I had to lose a biggest part of myself to find a, a whole part of myself I didn't even know about. This is that whole thing that you're doing. Because it's like, it, a lot of times for you to go down this journey, something very detrimental had to happen to you. You know, me, I had to lose a parent. I had to, you know, just be able to come in my mind to know I knew this parent all the time. This parent was all around me, but it was forced apart. You know, people knew, people talked, people bragged, people mocked. And I had to t I had to find out about my situation after my dad died. That was like kicking the gonads to where somehow I was steady getting kicked every day. You know, finding out something new, being to that point where I was a ticking time bomb. I was ready to knock off every person that was involved with that mess. If you knew your life was mine. That's how bad it was with me. But it had to take for me to really, really look at my enemies of myself. It was like I was the, what do they call that? Um, public enemy number one. I was that two, three, four, five. <laughs> you know, all that. And it took me so much to where I had to be real with myself. I had to be honest with myself. I didn't give a damn about the next person, about how they felt about me, how they felt, if it was true or not, if I'm crazy, or I'm not, am I doing this for attention. I didn't give a damn because I already knew no matter what somebody's opinion was about my life, it's not going to change the experience I had. You know, nothing I've said when it comes to my situation has ever switched up. You know, and it, it was like my situation was very crazy. People would hear my, about my story and like, girl, this is going to be a Lifetime movie. I said, and then some hell, it could be a mini series the way my life was going. But it was a point that I had a blessing to be able to share it with other people because there's so many people that are going through the most worst things in the life of known to mankind. And you're trying to figure out how can something positive come out of a situation that made me lose my mind because you're gaining a new aspect of life. You had to go, a lot of times you had to go through war to get to paradise. You had to go through hell just to get a touch of heaven. You know, and those are the things where you're going to tell your ego, have a couple of seats. I got that. You keep on talking, I'm going to have you missing somewhere. And cement block, <laughs> cement slab. Because I got this. I don't need my ego. I don't need my pain. I got my strength, my wisdom, and my power right with me. All in the front seat. And we still got something packed in the back. You know, the ego, you are not invited. Because you already know it's going to get to a vibration where it's going to scare your frequency to death. Because you've been so used to riding it like that for so long. You know, and thinking about it in that in that vibration for so long. It's going to become unaccustomed to your, your, your vibration, your, your, you know, your frequency. You know, even the, the way your mind is, is like operating. Where you switch up, you know, when you stop being defensive... Or playing victim or feeling sorry for yourself is gonna get to that point where I got my power this is the thing that made me lose my mind but gain it at the same time if you ain't never lost the heart I mean lost the mind you ain't gonna find out where the heart sit at you know you have to be able to go through different things like that for you to really understand the depths of what you can do because it gets to the point where if people been taking advantage of you and using certain things to gain access to something they've never been entitled to. And we gave them that power unwillingly, not knowing that's what we did. And when you find out that truth, it can really change you. It can either change you two different ways. And mine was like on a balance. It was very volatile, like where I, I, I was that type of person. I lost everything. My children, you know, my mom has passed away. My real mom don't want to have nothing to do with me because with everything else they done keyed up. You know, parents done found, you know, had my dad in my life my whole time, didn't really know that. You know, and then it was used off for their advantage. All those different things to where when all that reality hit towards me, it was at that point where I can proudly say I'm not in that vibration no more. But when I was at that point... I could have took your life and mine could have been taken really and it wouldn't have bothered me because I felt like I done lost everything. There ain't no problem with taking your life, you know, 
And I had to really get out of that because God was like, look, I understand why you're mad and you have every right to be. But this is not your purpose. This is not where your fate is going to be at. Other people's lives could have really turned into that. Where my life was, it is like that situation can land you in prison or land you dead. And then it's not just your life. It's anybody's life attached to that that had that 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 thing of you being into that that trauma you were willing to take a life and that's where at that point I was at that borderline like I had no soul it, it was like everything was gone like I could look right th I was looking at you but I look right through you and that's how bad it was you know to where I had to numb pain through smoking weed all day you know being drunk you know not like sloppy drunk but it was at that point where if I couldn't get that hit to where where I was feeling my highness that I had to add something to it just for it to keep on because if I if I came out of that and I really got to where I wanted to be it was going to be very dangerous you know and I'm just I thank God every day that he got me to not want to take people's lives because it was at that point where I never thought I could do it but then when it came to that point I didn't care you know I really didn't care but I had to be at that point like I, I can't play judge and jury with anybody's life just because they did that to mine that's not my job to do it to theirs you know and it got to that point where there's days that I can wake up tears and just say I'm glad I don't have that heaviness on my heart you know um, I'm grateful that just with my circumstances how many people I've connected with you know how many things I've seen the truth in me when it had to be able to hit that brick wall it was good when I could been able to help people just by telling them my, my experience so I know how you feel, you know. And a lot of times people are like, well, Rosalind, you know, you make videos about things that it's like I'm going through right now, but we're all going through the same thing. It just not might, may not be the same scenario, but it's the same situation. you trying to disconnect from something that's no longer needing to be able to exist anymore. Instead of you flowing through weaknesses, fear, and doubts, you know, you're, you're flowing through power, recognition of, of your own light, you know, understanding yourself from the depth of the core of you and seeing how powerful you are, you know, it was like that pain, we, we had to go through something to where, you know, if we were spiritual beings, we got about 10 million different daggone gifts, talents, we have all kind of powers we can do, certain things you can pop up doing stuff here in the world and then it, it was like, no, that's not, you know, that's illusion, this and this and that. And it's just like people don't realize truth is stranger than fiction. <laughs> okay, I tell people truth is stranger than fiction. I've done different things where I wish I could have had it on, on videotape. And I'm like, hell no, nah, you, you ain't about to do that. You know, really people are going to really think of something wrong with you. But it, it's just the fact is where I can say it's a blessing. Where I can be in a sound mind and just say, you know, there's times I have sadness. There's times I have anger. But I'm just blessed that I'm not going back into that mind where I'm, I'm you know, I got a wild imagination. I said I watched horror movies <laughs> and psychological thrillers for a long time. So that, that amps up my imagination so I can really do some damage. But I'm just so glad I'm not like that anymore. You know, I'm not like that anymore. That God said that's not my fate. That's not my purpose. I got something better for you. You know. Let, I had to allow God to say, you know, I'm going to let go and let God deal with that. I, I can't do it because if I do it, it's going to be messy, you know. And these are the things where I had to allow my fears to let go, you know. I, I deal with shit that's really close to home to where I feel like, you know, girl, you got to be strong. Because anybody else, man, it would have been done. You know, it would have been done, son. You know, and I had to be at that point like, you know. God must be really trying to try me on several ways because he already know my mom. My tolerance is short, like they say in the South. I just short. I, I snap like that and be a minute. Like, you don't even have a reason. You are the reason. People are like, all I need is a reason. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't. And I don't. You know, and I always tell people, especially if you are an empath and you still dealing with some aggression, please don't fight nobody. And don't, please don't fight nobody because you hear, you'll, you'll, somewhere there's a dark demon that's ready to get out. That, that is like that sucker should have been in one of those, those shark cage type things and those different chains they put on 18 wheelers with the chain locks that goes on 18 wheelers. That's where that demon would be. Cause if that demon comes out, it's going to be, it's going to rip havoc. You're going to be something like, you know, from God dog, what is like Hellraiser with, with, uh, Hellraiser, DC Comics, and God on um, Resident Evil all wrapped into one. 
you know, it can be something like that. That's why I always tell people, you you an empath and you got some hidden issues you still dealing with. Somebody try to, you know, do it. They clucking at you. Just keep going. <laughs> they don't care if you like this small. You know, and, and it, it can be somebody built like a house. It don't matter. Because if that, if your hidden magic come out with that anger and all the other stuff you're dealing with, it's going to be a problem for whoever that person is. You know, I tell people, I say, shoot, people know me. You've been in a situation where I am, you like, well, it's you, it's you right. You know, but different things you go through where you at your highest frequency. You've seen how you were at the, the pit of the pendulum. It's like pit in the pendulum and the belly of the beast. You know, you were scraping rock bottom. But you had to allow yourself to know this is not where you need to be comforted at. This is not where you need to stay at. Your, your life is so destined to be somewhere in, in the high. But you, for you to get there, you had to be at the very low. You know, you had to go through some stuff. You had to, you know, die a couple of times, be brought back. You had to be, you know, people that you loved and cared for had to do the worst to you. All those different things. You know, you had to be able to have that full effect of it. And it had carried weight to it. And for you to do that... And for you to heal, for you to be able to, you know, keep it real with yourself. You know, you ha you can't keep it real with other people when you're still living a lie. You can't do that. So that means you're lying to them and you're lying to yourself. But when you can keep it real with yourself, you're not going to worry about what them outsiders are saying. You ain't going to worry about what them outsiders are doing. If you're going through those bad days to where you just feel like the world is just crumbling down on you and they laughing at you, you're not going to care. Because that's where ego is. You're like, oh my God. You know, I used to worry about that. I said, no, let me not say that because folks don't block my blessings. No, I can't block your blessings. Only you can. You know, that's only what you can do. And these at that time where I'm keeping it real. You know, I know what certain things that I need to talk about. And certain things I just need to be at peace with and keep moving. But there's a lot of things that universe and God will guide me to talk about. Because there's so many things that people can relate to. You know, and it was at that point where I had to really get solid with myself, be honest with myself, because these things that we go through is not for the weak at heart. And a lot of times when we dealing with a lot of energy that chooses to ignore things, choose to want to be able to project whatever they want to out of fear of their own fears, it will make you feel like you're weak. They will make you feel like you have no kind of self-worth, no kind of self, nothing like you were just a pawn. In some kind of way. But that's what the devil wants you to think. That's where your ego wants you to think. That's where your fear and your doubts want you to think. But you have to understand. And just like I said in my other video. If you one person. You just like it's just little old me. But you got so many people coming to attack you at one time. If you weren't if you weren't something that was going to make an impact in the world on a very deep thing. Do you think they would need all these type of people just to question you like that? Putting all these kind of doubts and fears in your head. Doing all this mojo voodoo voodoo on your in, in, you know, graveyard dirt and all that junk on you. To, just to make you crumble like that. You have to be something very, very precious to God, universe, the ancestors, the tribes and all these different things for only... You, you that only one person you got folks coming at you all different directions like that they know if you find out and you get anointed with your whole true power that 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 self and all structure of power and insight and and you know everything that is going to make you back into that spiritual being do you know how much damage you can cause <laughs> you know how much you can really just Put a riff in the whole program of the devils. <laughs> the devils do, you know, it, it can be that way. And these are those things that's really telling you you got to really recognize yourself. Yeah, you may be going through a a moment, but it's only a moment. You know, this is only this. This is like the 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 precursor of an inter, inter, uh, introduction. You know, of what life is going to really is taking you on a ride. You know, emotional roller coasters. You're really going through things. But these are the things you're going to get to that point. And it's just like with me. I'm not all the way out the woods. But when I can allow myself to really look back and really keep it real. I'm glad I went through those dark moments. I'm glad I had people flip on me. I'm glad that it's just the people that I've had in my life for all these years. And called them my, my godmother, my godfather, my cousins, my brother, my sister. All these different things. And it showed me the really true intentions when things got real for me. I needed that. I needed that because it shows you where where you are are, are option or you're a priority. Are you loved 
or were you just a space that they needed to fill? And I know that it's like when you're speaking to yourself in that kind of tone, yeah, I know that can hurt. That can hurt deep. But I, I'm at that point in my life now where I used to always want people around because I felt like I needed somebody to talk to. I wish I had somebody on that vibe who really could understand me. But God put me through those certain situations where the friendships and the connections didn't last long because it's showing you you can be your own friend. Stop trying to force people to be in your life when they're only supposed to be there for a moment. You know, and it's it's like they're being in there because you need to learn something from these individuals. Just like these individuals need to learn something from you. You're teaching them something as they're teaching you something. And then that, you know, and then that connect, that strong connection comes in so it can bounce off and break off. And y'all on your own journey again, you know. And now I'm at that point where I like being in solitude because it gives me that point where I can still interact with y'all. Keep it you know short and sweet i love the people i stay in connection with i love the support that i get and love the support i can give other people you know but this allows me to stay focused on me you know i got that i i don't move clear away from that fear of being on my own because i don't like the thoughts that i get and it was just me running away from my truth running away from what i needed to accept come real with my own self i can't be real with other people if i'm being fraudulent with myself and i have no problem telling people that you know, and it's not saying that I was trying to paint a picture of this, this, that, and the third. It was me trying to force myself to believe something that I was not came coming to a complete acceptance for. And I can be able to allow myself to say that because I thought I was. But it was at that point where, girl, you're living a lie because you can say this. And there are times it's like that moment will come up where something will, you know, come up from the surface. And it will put you back in that dark place again. This is telling you, you got to, you know. It's okay for you to be, you know, pushing out that word to people because it's something you needed to hear too. But now is that time where you, where not just the words are reaching out, reaching out just by projecting, but the words need to match your actions. Your actions need to, you know, match your energy. And then for all that, it need to, you know, match the views that you you're seeing within yourself. When you see how things are unfolding for you, and even though you don't know how everything's going step by step by step. But you got faith in God that you know something good is going to come out of this because you've been going through so much hell. There got to be a taste of heaven in there somewhere. And that's where you're doing. Where you sit up, you're at your highest peak. You're at your highest vibe and it can get even higher. But when you're allowing yourself to give yourself that chance, it's hard. I won't lie. You already know it's hard for you to get out that funk at times because you're going through, you ain't going through petty stuff. You hitting, getting hit hard, especially by things and situations that are really important to you. You know, you may be losing friends. You may be losing family. Financial, you know, you know, situations is all over the place. You don't know where you're going to get your next meal. You don't know where you're going to get your next dollar. You know, people using your daggone weaknesses and stuff that you're going through. And they using it for their satisfaction to boast their ego up. You know, you dealing with a lot of things. It'll be a lot of times you want to handle it face to face. But it's got a lot like, mm-mm. Just be quiet, I got this. <laughs> you know, just let them give all I'm like, hold up, that there ain't me, boss. That is not me, sir. You know, that is, you know, and it's like that. But this is that time where God going to put you in certain positions where you won't have to have no choice but to shut up. Okay. There'll be different times where even when you know you're right, a lot of times your righteousness of your right is to stay silent. There'll be so many times where there's people going out their way to hurt you, do all these different things that you really want to spotlight everything that they're doing so people can see who that real person is. Don't do that. You want to treat people how they treat you. Don't do that. That's speak on that character unless about yours. You stay solid on your representation of how you are. You know, because you are representing yourself. They're representing their self. But when you're allowing yourself to treat others the way you want to be treated, even when you're not being treated back like that, it's not being reciprocated, you're still getting your blessings. That's how your blessings continue. Because even when people are just very hateful for, for to you, they hateful to themselves. They treat you how they treat themselves. You can't expect somebody to place love in there where they're not loving themselves. You can't. Expect somebody to respect you that is not respecting themselves. But when you respect yourself, then you know you ain't tolerating that. Like, okay, I'm going to let your, your lips and your legs do the walking and the talking, but I'm not reciprocating that. You know, that's their own war. You already dealing with yours. You probably done laid down the daggone flag on yours because you already won. You know, and you allow those things to go. And then you'll start noticing what little things that people do 
to try to get up under your skin is not affecting you like it did before because you're more focused on where you're trying to be at because that's not where you wanted to be anymore so you're not saying I don't want to be around that person I don't want to be that I got better places I'd rather be and it ain't here sitting up here entertaining that foolishness so I'm gonna let you go have a good day namaste you know and go on about my business loving like yeah you know and god bless and you keep going but then you're gonna see it everything that just really got you in your you know got you in the gut really got your blood boiling is that main thing that made you step up and show up and show out for yourself it killed that ego it killed that fear that doubt that concern of what other people were thinking you don't need that external validation when you made it valid with yourself and then you're gonna know you're gonna be happy that you had people act like that with you. You're going to be happy when you see the true intentions of people that you thought they loved and cared for. You really didn't. It was only love and care for themselves. You know, they seen you as that, you know, you were that dead cell to them. But they were yet, they seen that light that they can drain all the time. You know, you that one that I can treat you any kind of way and I can still get what I want and play sympathy with you and I can still manipulate you. Now you're at that point like, oh, maybe that was the old person, but you can't do that no more. But love and light have you, have blessed say, you know, and going about your business. And then you're going to see, you're going to be appreciating all those things you went through because it helped you get to the better self. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Much love to you. I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Be please be responsible with everything you do, whatever you are trying to manifest into your life. Know I'm bringing beautiful, beautiful vibes toward you. To whatever God and universe got in store for you, I hope they they triple that. You know, because you've probably been really going through some different things in your life. You've really been struggling to try to stay above water, and you know, and things really, you know, try to get you drowning. But, you know, I'm just placing that vibration on you. Whatever door is opening for you is going to keep flooding. It's going to bust a levee of all kind of prosperous abundance of blessings that's coming through. Because you truly deserve that. You know, don't give up on things. You know, even when things are not feeling like it's not coming together for you, it's falling all in place the way it's supposed to be. You're right where you need to be. So stay persistent and consistent because you can give up today because the enemy know you're going to be blessed tomorrow. So make sure you do that. So, you know, I leave all my contact information. Information in the description box below is all about spiritual networking, giving you a deeper understanding about your path of purpose, and you know, just being able to help you understand. You know, you're part of the family, trying to fill out. You know, is there people that really resonate with the things that I'm going through? Yes, it's here. You know, um, and I really love you know our team that we you know we're you know we're collecting everybody in, and you know it's really good that we can be in the same you know vibration with other people that knows that vibe. So. You know, I love to be able to be a part of that, you know, and just be able to help you out the best way I can, either through my experience or, you know, what the, you know, the good people up there, you know, want me to vibe with to project towards you. You know, whatever we speak on is confidential and I help out the best way I can. I leave my link to my podcast as well. And if you feel generous enough, you can place a donation. Cash app is there as well. So much love to you. Peace.